Special treat for you, Mr. President. Well, nice to see you. Well, it's an honor always to meet you. And uh, we found this at an auction. It's your junior year yearbook in yes. high school with some wonderful references to you. And I'm, you're going to want to thumb through it uh, yourself. Yes. But let me just point out one of them, which is so indicative of you. Dutch, the lightest but fastest guard on the team, won his letter through sheer grit. <laughs> Came a, became a movie, I guess. So. <laughs> uh, with Dutch returning to the squad, things looked good for Dixon in 1927. There's a lot of other references which we've marked for you. Very positive. You wrote a, a, a real nice letter in here, which with RR at the bottom of it, by the way, and everybody assumes that you're, there's a joke in here, which I won't comment on. It's not as good as your recent joke, so let me just put it that way, uh, some of your humor here. I wonder if when we get to heaven, we'll have football games. Dick McNichol, he was the quarterback. Who will we play? I said, why the University of Hades? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there's a number of references to you. You were president of your class, by the way, and uh, I'm sure you remember that. It's a little bit worse for wear, this book, but back cover's missing, but well, there it is. And well, by golly. Enjoy it. Oh, you got that, uh, you got that at, all. at an auction. Just happened to see it at an auction. Thought you might enjoy it if you didn't have it. Well, the thing about being the lightest, I have to tell you, they had a conference also then uh, in our high schools there and ours in which uh, they had lightweight, and you played double headers. And the lightweight limit was 135 pounds. Anything over that, you couldn't be on the lightweight team. So I was a tackle on the lightweight team at 135, and uh, was put on the first string regular team at 135 pounds. And, uh, now that says something doubly everybody. good about you. Loved every minute. There's a picture uh, of you with the team, and I try to recognize you in that picture with a magnifying glass and didn't have any yeah. luck, but I'm sure that they'll find one here okay. for you. Whoops, wait, I just passed it here. Now, come on, where are you? I marked these for you. Let me see if I can. There, there you go. Yeah. There's no, I think that's where you're listed. That's, oh, that's, that's the oh, class. That's here's, your, here's your class. name. You were on the north side. Yeah. And uh, you're listed there. Let me find the, the football team for you, if you would. Oh, and, I'll be back there someplace. Yeah, right there. Ah. That's oh, be, that's a kind of a distant shot. Yeah. But I'll bet you I can find it. <laughs> I think I'd probably... You're, you're obviously the best-looking fellow there, if you can. <laughs> no. By golly, it's too far away from me without a microphone, or microscope. Yeah. Micro. Magna. <laughs> what am I talking about? Magnifying glass. I tried. You'll have to get a higher power one than I had, because uh, I couldn't, couldn't make it out. I'm in. I can't find it. You're there. We know that. I'm too tiny. It's been no. represented. I wanted to briefly mention to you uh, also a bill that uh, your son Michael has been so helpful on. Uh, yes. And, uh, but we've worked it out with Robert Dole now. He's at, uh, the, the yeah. prime co-sponsor of it. We've worked out some of the details. Michael's been just tremendous and has sent us a very moving letter, by the way, uh, as to how much uh, your support for his efforts uh, to find some of his family were to him. And it's a very moving letter. Yeah, he's written a book, you know. It was a great revelation of things that we never knew were in his mind as, as the adopted member of the family. But it, uh, I highly recommend it for him people who are adopting or people who have been or are adopted. But uh, yes, he, he gave me that and what our people we've said. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah, see me. Hey. Well, hello there. Mr. Mr. Bob G. Nice to see you again. Well, yeah. nice to. I'm the guy who's got a lot in common with them same age you are. You I know. Like and same day, birthday, yeah, same like, year. You look a lot better than I do. Well, he was yeah. telling me out there he gave order for folks to party to use the live on. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's right. February 1911 was a good vintage year. It was a good year, yeah. <laughs> it was a, yeah. Of course, I was in Canada at the time. The times were pretty rough. Okay, very, very good. Well, Thank well, you so good much. To see you. Yeah, best to do everything for you. Just stop the session. Doing fine. She's well into her chemotherapy now. Thank you, Mr. President, for calling Dot. Oh, it well, meant so much to her, and uh, you really excited the hospital. And, uh, <laughs> that, that would, uh, thank you very much. I was a good guy. And how she did? Well, she had her ninth chemotherapy treatment yesterday, and 
only just a little bit of queasiness once in a while mm -hmm. for 15, 20 minutes afterwards. Mm -hmm. So she's doing well. Good. Thank you again, and thank you, Howard. Yes, see you later. Thank you for coming in. Nice to see you. Let me get that door, sir. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Uh, Adrian Rogers sent you a letter. Nice to see you. Hi. President Ralph. Okay. Don't worry. Right with me. I'm in the prison. I'm in the school prison. Yes. I'm in the prison. 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 I'm in the Okay, sir. I think we have a coordinator, right? Okay. Yes. Liz Risk. Hey. Hey, Robert. Well, it was all right. Remember that? Just that? Yeah, I think it was the first year that I was on that front. I will have you know that up at the company, you know, story. Well, uh, thanks to you, I'm pitching. You remember you gave me the green light to pitch in California? Yes. It was uh, about uh, 14 years ago. And thanks to you. That's when the governor approved all individual teaching. <laughs> the way it should be. And he gifted One of them. Water of he gifted me with the book of the subject. In the movie I saw him teaching those young people, a man playing him. And uh, I have to tell you, I flunked on the first page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I came back to Boston and uh, if you need any help, um, be glad. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take, sat take Saturday morning. <laughs> Tell me, were any of those children in the picture, the students, there, uh, were they actually regular students or were they all No, actors? no, no, they are actors. None of those are uh, regular students. Yes, I, I couldn't recognize having seen any of them before or anything. They were almost just distinct types and just wonderful and I wondered if maybe they wrapped it in a few minutes. Mr. President, John Kasich. How are you, Mr. President? Hi, good to see you. Well, good to see nice you. to see you. David Warren, Warren, the president of Ohio. David Warren, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Coach Mahaffey, the coach of this right. championship right. team. Right. I appreciate you. Scott Tedder. Scott Tedder. Scott Tedder. He's a player of the year in Division III. Mike Smith, one of our captains. This is Lee Rowlandson from Winford. Hi. 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 Good call me Shorty. <laughs> Casey Lee from Springfield. Chris Truskowski from Dublin, Ohio. Why don't you guys go on the other side of Congress on Casey? We want to thank you uh, for inviting us here today. Congratulations. Well, thank you. As you know, I think we're, uh, we're one of the 300 small liberal arts colleges in the country give no scholarships. These guys play for the love of the game, as you did at uh, Eureka College. That's right. Where you carried the swim team on your back and anchored the football <laughs> team. Well, at the same time, though, there, you, I had to work my way through school. There were no scholarships of that kind, but they did see that among the campus jobs, uh, uh, they could see that you got one, one of those jobs. And fellas, to show you how enjoyable it can be, one of my jobs was Washing dishes in the girls' dormitory. It's <laughs> <laughs> a hardship assignment. <laughs> the town they come from, Mr. President, Delaware, Ohio. They're they're talking about you running maybe one more time. They've been talking about this for a long time. They love you up there in Delaware. Well, when I get out, which I have to several months, I can tell you I'm going to campaign as a citizen for a change in that constitutional amendment that restores the democratic rights of the people to vote for whoever they want to for as long as they want to. Right? I think it's an invention of those rights to have passed the amendment that here's the only office that is elected by all the people, and then the Constitution says we are going to be there this long. You'll, got you'll probably Senate. get uh, support in our, our district. It's been Republican since 64, 1864, <laughs> consecutive. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Well, President, he had this. I think maybe, though, maybe 
you don't get in here. 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 Can we uh, equip you, Mr. President, with a like victory T-shirt here? Present a national championship shirt. Turn, you want to turn that around so uh, it can be clearly seen as a, a one and only. Great. Thank well, you. thank you very yeah, much. You. Well, I'd be pleased to have you. Mr. President, I'd like to give you a videotape of the championship game. It's great. Like well, have that. <laughs> thank you. Couldn't be seen on the major networks, but uh, <laughs> you'll enjoy this game, Mr. President. Yeah, right. Jim yeah. Dyer went to uh, Scranton, Mr. President. He was nice enough to put uh, let bygones be bygones and work there. But then he made say hello to you. If you ever have some free reading time, Mr. President, <laughs> <laughs> I'll some good to read. Well, well, thank you very much. And all these things. You have a cup. Um, you might not want to fill it with the cup. <laughs> My wife put some uh, jelly black and red jelly beans. Yes, <laughs> school. Yeah, yeah. Colors are red and black. So you're set. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. And as you can see over there, it is true that we. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were doing. Well, Thank you. Well, we thank you for your time and uh, well, your willingness to uh, to visit with us. Well, this listen, is a pleasure. And uh, I have some familiarity with schools with Wesleyan in the name. Yes. Uh, Illinois Wesleyan and Bloomington. That was one of our rivals in all sports. In fact, we played them in the quarterfinal game. Well, you did. And Derek Wesley was 106 to 103. Just a great basketball game. That was probably the toughest team I think we played Preston along the route. Well, the the conference of, of small colleges there with Bradley Tech and, yes. and all of them in, in basketball, uh, much more so than in football, yes. uh, always had a lot. As a matter of fact, clear back in my day, uh, there was a question as to whether uh, uh, the Big Ten teams uh, could defeat. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while they would open a season taking on some of the smaller college teams and so forth for kind of action and practice. And, uh, and uh, the Little 19 teams always won. They still call it the Little 19 Conference. There's 23 schools in it, but it's called the Little 19. <laughs> Your predecessor, President Ford, was on campus a year ago, and we presented him with a t-shirt that said Ohio Wesleyan 17, Michigan 7. We beat them in football 1928, and they haven't dared play the since. <laughs> so you're right, there was a time when uh, we were able to take those Big Ten teams on. In fact, our team back in December, we played Ohio University, a Division I team. Defeated them 122 to 115. Oh, so they gave these guys a lot of confidence. <laughs> well, right. And Branch Rickey's a graduate of Ohio Wesleyan. Oh. Yeah. And then their auditorium after him. Nice. We've just created a, an award uh, in his name and we'll be giving it uh, in, the, in the fall. Branch was the first one in baseball. I was a sports announcer after I got out of school. And right. Branch was some few of us were lobbying to open baseball to on the racial line. And he was the one who finally had the courage to take on a, a black player. He learned that at Wesleyan. He had a black player who was a classmate of his, and they refused to let this fellow play ball. And so Branch took the entire team and said, we won't play unless he can. So it started back in the 1904, 1905. Remember football at Eureka College, uh, I played right guard. And beside me was a black fellow named Burkhardt, Franklin Burkhardt. And he was just about as great a center as I had ever seen him. In, Football was just great, and we became the closest of friends over the years. And it was he was one year behind me, and I found out to my horror the following year there was a new president at Eureka College, and a Southern team on our schedule sent word that uh, now our team had elected him the year after I got out of school, elected him captain, and uh, got word that he should not be brought. And the president of our college, instead of doing what he should have done, uh, made him go and play without him, mm -hmm. having to leave your captain at oh, home. You know, just, and we're supposed to be a religious school, too. <laughs> well, times are changing. The president's got to go to work on the trade bills. So we have to. Thank you <laughs> so much. Well, listen, time. Thank you for all of these. Thank you. We'll, we'll look for a photo on the ranch with that uh, T-shirt on. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. That, yes. might, that might end up in the presidential library. That you well, that would. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we would send you yeah, out. People get to see it then. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very very much. Much. Thank you. 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 Thank